before we start, please watch my previous video. The link will be in the description. Amy Schneider returned for the 35th game on Jeopardy. She won a 34-day total of $1,148,600. As explained in the previous video, Ken Jennings' instruction was, So yesterday, our returning champion, Amy Schneider, charged on with the 34th consecutive victory of her momentous run that started all the way back in the middle of November. At this point, there are only two players in Jeopardy history who have won more games. And you know what? By the end of the week, if no one does anything to snap her, there may be just one left. He points to himself and says, The old me... And that's how the preamble concludes. Amy got all three of the daily doubles. So far, it looks like no one's able to stop her. <laughs> Amy got a daily double, risked her trademark 4,000, unfortunately answered wrong, and went back down to 5,200 R's. Amy ended the first round winning 7,400 R's. Taryn was in second place at 2,400, and Dan was in third at 1,000. Amy got the second daily double, wager 2,000, got it right, and went to 14,600 R's. Amy got the third daily double. She bet 6000 answered correctly, and went to $27,000. After answering, what is a Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's court? Which is a mouthful of an answer. Ken told Amy, that is correct, and you just ran that category. Taryn almost didn't make it to final jeopardy. She was fortunately able to get back in the positive side in a good time. Dan ended double jeopardy, winning $5,000. Amy was in lead at 35400 the final Jeopardy category was awards around the world. The question was, France's National Theatre Award. It's named for a man who died in 1673. I know Voltaire wasn't born until 1694, and the only French guy I know who lived throughout the 1600s was Louis XIV, though I think he died in the 1700s, if I'm not mistaken. The answer was Moliere, named for the playwright of Tartuffe and the misanthrope. I was thinking that too, in fact, I was about to type it until I decided to see what, they were, what the right answer was. If you remember when I mentioned I read Emily St. John Mandel's Station Eleven, I actually had to read Le Mis and Toep that same semester in two different classes. Dan Tobin was the only one to answer correctly. Amy answered Serrano before crossing out and answering Voltaire. She bet 20000 and went down to $15,400. She's now at a 35-day total of $1,164,000. And as always, thank you for watching.